I'm going to do one of my all-time favorite videos to film, and it is my empties videos. I make these videos every single month, and I really, really love going and seeing what I've gone through this month, whether or not I like it or not, whether or not I repurchase it. More often than not, I would not repurchase it, which is actually a good thing, because it means that I don't have to just keep on buying the same thing over and over and again, and I get to try new things, which is always good and kind of my goal. So, I have a relatively large empties. I think... I have a lot of big items, like they're actually physically big, if that makes sense. Um, so why don't I just go ahead and get into it. So the first item I'm going to pull out is this Tresemme Tray 2 Hairspray. Um, I got this because I needed a hairspray and, uh, you know, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Um, I did not like this, actually. I thought it kind of made my hair crispy, which is never the goal. I don't like crispy, crunchy looking hair. I like my hair to look natural, but really well defined. And this, I'm uh, not, no. Not a fan. I just used this up, and it is the Tony Moly Rice Smooth Toner. Um, and it says I'm real. I guess that might be the line. I'm not really sure. So um, this is a nice toner. Tony Moly is um, a K-Beauty brand. It's gotten really popular as of late. I got this at Ulta. All in all, it was okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but I didn't see a big difference. It didn't make me excited to use it. I have, a, like, one toner. The, um, well, I have two toners I really like. The Neutrogena one for, like, a drugstore. And then a more high-end one is the... Um, Liz Earl one. This one just didn't hold up to either one of those, so no, I would not purchase that again. I used up one of my Holy Grail products, the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Conditioner. Love this. Love the way it smells. Love the way it performs. I use it every single morning. Um, I shower, like, wash my hair, all that at night. I don't do that every single day. Um, but every morning, I kind of rinse off my body, uh, wash my face, and use a conditioner. Um, before I can style my hair, um, and this is the one I use every morning. I love it. Okay. I used up a Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion per Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. This was a really, really fine, very, very harsh exfoliator. Nothing wrong with it. Um, it kind of smelled medicinal almost. Dr. Brandt is definitely um, a higher-end brand. Nothing against it, but again, it wasn't anything overly exciting. I didn't enjoy using it to the point where I was like, this is an excellent exfoliator. I would really like to use it again. Um, it was really harsh. I have dry skin. I don't mind that. Uh, but all in all, it was just okay. Nothing super exciting here. This is the Up and Up Jumbo Cotton Balls. So I use this as um, to remove my nail polish is what this is called. I also used it, uh, so I went on a vacation at the very, very beginning of January. My boyfriend took me to Universal Studios for like my birthday slash Christmas and I was really trying to save every single penny as much as possible, like to the extreme. So I use this on my face as well, um, which is why I use them up so quickly. Uh, and it's fine. It's not as nice as other cotton pads, obviously, on your face. But for um, nail polish, they're fine. You can always get like a coupon and cartwheel. They're super cheap. So I did repurchase those already, actually. I used up the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. I actually got this from Influencer, uh, which is a really cool website that you can get free items from. And it was nice. It was a little crunchy. Um, I didn't love the smell of this whole line. So, I don't know. It was fine. Um, I always use mousse. Herbal Essences is a brand I like. But this one wasn't one of my favorites. I've kind of gotten more into curl creams than actual mousses. Then I used up this Tresemme Moisturizing Luxurious Moisture Conditioner. This was just like a little sample. I, I brought it um, when I went to that Universal trip. I have the, con uh, the shampoo still. This is the conditioner. Fine. Really bland. Nothing exciting about it. I didn't notice anything great with my hair. I don't, I'm not excited about it. This is the John Frieda Frizzy's Secret Weapon Touch-Up Cream. I used this one day when I didn't want to put product in my hair. It was kind of late and I was just going somewhere, but it didn't really matter. Um, it was fine. It was really sticky, but it, I think this is really old, so that could be why. I don't really re remember anything exciting about it. So, it's fine. Uh, based on that sample, I wouldn't purchase it, but I'm not opposed to purchasing it either. Um, I used up this Organics, which is now, I believe, OGX. Nourishing Coconut mil Milk and Hibiscus Creamy Body Wash. This is a really nice body wash. It smells like the candied shredded coconut, so it smells really sweet and delicious. 
um, and it was really hydrating. So I did really enjoy this. Um, I mentioned, I don't know, recently, that I really got into using a uh, body wash from, I just smacked myself in the face, did y'all see that? From Bath and Body Works and then matching it with a scrub and the lotion. So I'll probably kind of stick towards that because I really like the way it feels and smells. Um, but this is not bad. And if you're looking for like a, you know, a drugstore body wash, this is great. As far as the organic side of it, it's really not. There are some organic products, but there's also a lot of chemicals, so there you go. Which may be why they changed their name. Maybe it was like a, a misnomer. Well, I mean, it was a misnomer, so. Uh, speaking of liking to use up the body wash, lotion, and scrub, I have used up one of the Herbal uh, Bath & Body Works body cream. This is in Gingerbread Latte. I love the way this body cream feels. It's super moisturizing and nice, but it doesn't leave you that film that makes you hot. And if you know me, then you know I'm a very, very hot-natured person, and I cannot handle anything that's going to make me more hot. Um, this scent specifically is really nice. It's really sweet, um, but it's not overpowering. Um, but it doesn't smell very gingerbready, which was disappointing to me. Ginger, Their gingerbread scents are usually one of my favorites, and this one was just okay as far as the gingerbread goes. But it's fine now because it's February and I'm still using it. Um, and also, if you have a guy who doesn't like a lot of sweet scents, I was wearing the lotion, um, and I was in the car with my boyfriend, and he was like, you don't have to use that perfume anymore. The problem is the lotion, so he doesn't really like overly sweet scents, so if you know someone that's like that, they might not like that. But I don't think it's that bad. Um, I used up this Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. So, um, this is what I used at night to wash my face. It was fine. It was a cream. I kind of like a gel better, and if you left this on your face too long, it would burn. I didn't notice it doing anything excellent for my skin, so it was fine. Nothing wrong with it, but again, nothing very exciting. I feel like that's kind of the general theme of this uh, empties. Then I have a couple of smaller products. I used up uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence. I, when I first got it, I really loved it. And I do like this scent. I think it's really unique. I like a deeper scent. Uh, I think Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I have the Nirvana Bourbon. I really like that one as well. This one's a little sweeter, but it still has that deepness. I do like it. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me feel a little sick, though. And it's a very expensive perfume, so I probably wouldn't purchase it, but I like it. Um, the Amika Nourishing Mask with Sea Buckthorn. Uh, this smelled really nice, but it didn't really do anything for my hair that I noticed. Yeah, it smells really good, but it's really sweet. But again, I didn't notice it doing anything amazing for my hair, so why would I purchase that? I wouldn't. This is the Daviness Oi All-in-One Milk. So I used this as a detangler. It worked super well. You sprayed some on, my hair was really soft and detangled, so it was a very effective product. But I don't like the scent of Daviness. Pretty much, I've tried a lot of their range um, all through Birchbox. And they all have that similar kind of patchouli, earthy smell. Not a fan. So because of that, I wouldn't repurchase it. But if you do like that scent or you like Daviness, I think this is a great product. I used up uh, the Creme de Nil. Um, oh, it was by LXMI and it's the Creme de Nil. This stank. It straight up stank and was awful. Didn't do anything great for my face. I have no idea how much it is, but even if they try to give it to me again for free, it stank. No thank you. And then I actually just got this in my birch box. Um, it is by Parlor by Jeff Christian, and it is their moisturizing and repairing conditioner. It was nice. It uh, you know worked well. I didn't know. I don't notice my hair being overly moisturized. I do uh, chemically treat my hair. It's not naturally curly. It's naturally very, very straight. Um, so I do like a moisturizing shampoo. It didn't weigh my hair down, but again, eh. Kind of the overall theme of this whole uh, empties. Nothing that was terrible. Well, no. This is terrible. But nothing, for the most part, they're just kind of like, okay. Um, but there's so many beauty products out there that you want to try. So for me, most of these things I wouldn't repurchase. But that's not a bad thing. Um, it means that I have room in my rather large arsenal of uh, beauty products to add some more things in. I actually just ordered a new toner today that I've never tried. 
and a hair mask. I'm out of my hair mask, so I ordered that too. Um, so a haul will be coming because of that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you love empties like I do, because I love me some empties, I do have an entire playlist. I make these every single month. I have pretty much since I started my channel, so I'll go ahead and link that below in case you want to see how often I go through items. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. If you have any questions about what's on my face, um, it will be linked down below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.